Hey, so Switch here. Just wanted to show some interesting things that we're seeing with the spell cooldown, uh, sorry, spell queue, and the global cooldown on the PTR, right? So in the PTR here now, I'm just going to use this command for the API to just dump the get net stats. And this gives you some information relating to your average world trip to your latency, right? So this value four here, 155, so that's 155 milliseconds is the average round trip, including things like um, TCP overhead to the server from my client. So that's a, that's roughly what the game thinks of as the, the lag, right? What I found was quite interesting was that um, when I was popping spells and, and trying to calculate the spell cooldown for the, for the GCD overlay on the bar, I was seeing some inconsistent things initially. So right here, right, we've just popped a new spell and then I have the code configured right now to just dump some information on the GCD, right? So this time now is just uh, using the Windows kernel to tell me what the time is in, in milliseconds uh, through the WoW API. Since that my server's been up, that my computer's been up, and the time started is the value returned by the API to get the spell cooldown, and you see here the agree right. So the duration um, of the, the global cooldown says one point five seconds, as you'd expect, and the calculated duration remaining from using these values in conjunction with um, with the code's internal timing says one point five seconds. So they agree right, and what we're going to do now is we're going to queue up a spell around four hundred milliseconds before, and we'll see what it says. So we're going to hit it again here. There we go, right? So now what we see is this time now and time started value are, are different by quite a bit, right? They're different by um, around 262 milliseconds. So this this was initially, actually, I was getting the, the GCD calculation wrong because I was always using this duration for the GCD value um, from the first frame that the GCD gets picked up. But when you're using the spell queue, it seems like, it seems like the the API is able to know to some extent that the server has started up the spell a little bit before, right? So the calculated GCD is 1.23 seconds here from uh, from the from the API value. And that is when you actually just look at the thing. It is it is the more accurate value. Um, you will overestimate the the GCD if you use this kind of value um, when you're when you're doing spell queue. So we can see here this dynamic lag estimate, which is what I'm calling it for now. I'm not really sure if that's what it is, but it's up to around, uh, so 280 milliseconds for me, right? Seems to be roughly, okay, I, was, I spell queued a little bit too early there, but if I spell queued I can't cast that yet. right on the edge, we'll get it. Okay, yeah, there we go. So we're in 270 milliseconds. So it's 270, 280 milliseconds. And if we just run this dump get net stats again, it's fairly consistent there, around 155 milliseconds. So what this to me implies is that if you're using a spell queue, the ratio of this to, to this is about 180%, right? This value here that the GCD is actually being reduced by by using the spell queue most, the most aggressively that I can is 180% of the lag here. So this implies to me that if your spell queue is any less than about 180% of your typical world uh, latency, then you're going to be introducing some artificial downtime to your rotation, right? Your, your, your GCD casts aren't going to perfectly line up with each other. So that's just something to, to bear in mind. And what I actually wanted to do at some point is to, the reason this is called dynamic lag estimate is I wanted to use this as a kind of uh, an on-the-fly measurement of how much lag you're actually dealing with and use this in the calculation here. So for example, if we switch over here, we'll go to command here. You can see that there was still a little bit of the black bar left over before the GCD layer came up, but the but we um, we, de we detected that, um, as you can see here, the current attack speed was 3.37 here, and then the GCD plus the lag that the add-on was calculating was going to end at relative to the start of the swing of about 3.45 seconds, right? So into the next swing. So that's why it turned yellow and it said, don't twist this. So I'm hoping that maybe at some point I can use this to get a more up-to-date version of the lag because get and net stats doesn't seem to be the, the clearest kind of indicator of when, when or not you're gonna be able to twist something. And also uh, this, this, this only updates every 30 seconds uh, on your client side, right? So if you have lag spikes, you're not going to pick up on those. If you have a very smooth connection to the server, then the lag detection as it's implemented right now in the add-on should work really well for you. But uh, but if, you're, if your connection is more intermittently like spiky with lag, then a value determined from something like this could be more useful for you. Um, so we'll, I'm going to be looking into that and seeing what I can do. But uh, yeah, the, uh, and the, the, uh, the feedback from the 
from the add-on so far has been really good. Uh, there's the fix to Seal of the Martyr to make the bar properly turn orange for for disgusting alliance paladins. Uh, sorry for missing that one out. Heroism is also it, it was included from the start um, in the checks for GCD and, and and spell haste and stuff like that. So you should you should still find bloodlust working uh, well anyway. Uh, so yeah, just just a little update. Thanks.